Hello Cancers, welcome to your monthly tarot reading for the month of March. Knight of Pentacles, reverse. Knight of Wands, reverse. Interesting. Page of Cups, upright. The Empress, upright. King of Wands, reversed. And the Five of Wands. Five of Swords, reverse. I'm going to pull this out. The Sun, reverse, and the World. Okay, interesting. Lots of people. Lots of, um, yeah, so I'm sensing, like, um, two people that might possibly know each other of the Fire Sign and one Earth Sign. Okay, so there's a lot of people in this spread, a lot of court cards. What I'm sensing first is, um, there is a situation that requires you to take a step back, okay? With the Nine of uh, Wands, in this situation, it's best for you to take a step back to gain a little bit more objectivity before you can move forward with whatever endeavor that you're, um, you're you know, the end of February or something that is coming in very early on in the month of March. That is a very regrettable situation, so it's... um. I would say it's a very bad situation that's throwing you off kilter and it is bringing like a um, it's stalling basically it's kind of like the tower card but um, you know of a lesser shakeup so the tower is probably you know one of the worst it, it's a, a very profound shakeup of your life this situation is similar to the tower in that you have to like revise your strategy before you can move forward so it's going to require you to take a step back observe the situation get over this you know regret that has happened as a result of this and then moving forward possibly even you know the end of the month so things are going to be a little bit um, confusing and chaotic and unstable that's what I'm sensing here the situation itself while it it's um, regrettable I feel that um, it's going to help you I guess um, define the path of your life a little more okay so it's a bad situation it happened and but as a result you're taking a step back and because you have no choice there's definitely blockages to your plans to proceed forward in the process of taking a step back you're going to get a clearer picture It's basically narrowing down your options before you had five now you have two that you can potentially proceed with okay so I see this as a good sign um, it could also indicate like um, losing opportunities or losing things um, in life like you have a plan and you know how everything is going to play out and you know how all the pieces will fit together but there is like a blockage in that regards so you have to go with like plan C and D which are not you know the top um, preference or not in your top choices but you have no choice but to proceed with those options okay um, I feel that you're still going to have a very good outcome with those two options so I wouldn't worry about them too much at this point but um, I do want you to you know really take the time and think about how to make the rest of the the two options that you have left, uh, left foolproof just because the other three have been knocked down just make sure you proceed with the other two and really think about it to really, um, I guess, reinforce those choices in a way that they are completely foolproof. So it leaves room for less surprises in the future. Okay, so that's the main thing that I'm seeing here. Um, financially, though, this month might be a little, um, might be a little short. And what I'm sensing is that um, you definitely have enough. You do want more, though, which is fine. And I know that um, you want the the money, not for the money itself, but more of like a, a means to an end. You do want to achieve greatness, and you do think that you know money is going to give you all of that. At the same time, I would say that the people around you are, you know, pretty accepting when it comes to you know like offering you support offering you love and things like that for the money route however the people are not very receptive to the way you're making money or they're not really receptive in which you are pursuing money or you're holding so tightly to money that you lose track of other things okay so I would definitely advise you uh, against that like don't place too much emphasis on money I, I know there are like financial worries down the road and that's um, giving you a little bit of anxiety because of this situation, it might have been a work situation, it might have been, you know, partnerships, friendships, or things that um, are affecting your emotional stability, but at the same time, I feel that, you know, money is greatly tied in with this endeavor. So, um, 
things are looking good at the end of the month so don't worry about this um, it's a temporary like delay in the progression of your life but it's definitely not permanent and it serves to reinforce and really um, it serves for you to really redefine what it is that you really want um, how you want to proceed with it so that you know um, so that things will play out in a very stable way that um, you can predict outcome okay because I, I just feel that um, this shakiness in the past um, is not a good habit for you so moving forward is important to you know proceed with the right frame of mind and also um, to direct your your choices and whatever path you choose to take to direct them in a very um, I guess you know in a way that it brings about fruition at the end of this month okay so all the choices are basically culminating towards the end of the month and the outcome is very very phenomenal so it is the world card and it's basically you know having the world at your feet getting um, the outcome that you want and it, it's even like in the situation I would say it's even better than your expectations so just roll with it, okay? It's going to be a little bit rough just because of the energies and the people that we're dealing with in this situation. Um, okay, so what I'm seeing here, let's see. So first part of the month, like I mentioned, financial worries, but um, you're pretty level-headed at this point and you're holding tight to your resources, okay? Which is a great thing to do. Um, and you're actually showering the people you love with a lot of affection, with a lot of like gifts and trinkets and things like that too, which is a really good thing to do. And on top of that, um, yeah, like the, they're, you know, you're very well received. I would say, let's see, you're definitely well received by the opposite sex, okay, because, um, what I'm looking at this, okay, so if I were to read this for a male cancer, um, you're definitely well received by the women, okay? If I'm reading this for the women in this situation, um, so yeah, male cancers, you're definitely received well by the women in your life. They're very receptive to your charm, to your wit, and to, um, to your personality. You're very receptive. If, if I'm reading this for a woman, I would say that there are a lot of men in the, the midst. I have King of Wands, King, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. So three entities here, and all, this man is bringing in gifts, you know. This man is going off in the opposite direction, but um, the way they're progressing, even Knight of Wands, King of Wands, the same suit, these are people that might potentially know each other, but um, they're leaving the picture so that this person can come in to offer you things. So in a way, it's like uh, getting reception as a female, getting reception from the opposite sex as a man, getting um, a lot of, I guess, accolades and also um, a lot of appreciation from the opposite sex, which is really good energy. Um, I would say for those of you who have been dealing with a fire sign and an earth sign, so this is um, a range of possibilities, but what I'm sensing is the fire signs are not seeing things from your point of view, okay? So, um, you know, like, again, fire and water is n not like a, a stable mix, but I would say opposites attract as well. But in the process of getting to know them, I feel that, you know, they might be a little... Um, they might be a little turned off by the way that um, you approach life because it's not philosophically, it's not in line with theirs, okay? So I do see these picture uh, people, like leaving the picture, especially the fire. Um, what I'm sensing in this situation is if you are a female Pisces, you are very, very coming across as very attractive, very abundant, very desirable, okay? So, however, the people are kind of turned off by that just because they feel threatened. They're like looking the other way and they're like leaving the picture, okay? So, in that regards, um, this is the only person that's actually somebody that has very little, but whatever little they have, they're willing to share with you, okay? So they're not in, like, in the most financially stable, um, f um, I guess, period in their life, but they're still willing to offer you what little they have, and that makes me, yeah, that, that's very soothing to the heart, I feel. You know, that's a very generous, a very caring person. So that's the earth sign. As for the other um, two, there, I feel that in general though, there are definitely going to be still incompatibilities with the earth sign, but um, this earth sign is 
is one of those people that um is is in it with you through thick and thin whereas the other two are like when the times get rough they bounce you know which is which is definitely not conducive for long-term commitments or marriage or anything like that so i would say you know give that earth sign a chance because um he has very little but he's still given it your like he's still helping you out with it okay and then in the process i feel that um it is also important for you to gauge the people around you because i feel you know um in general you do have a lot of abundance you do have enough okay it's important to give out to others because they are not um fortunate as you are as well so just keep that in mind put things into perspective knowing like um, how much you really have versus how much you really want because I feel that you do have enough and you can progress with you know whatever much you have other people are not as fortunate as you so it's important as well to give back and to help them out if they call uh, if they need your help all right so keep that in mind okay and additionally what I'm sensing uh, with the Sun card in the reverse position um, let's see here. There aren't a lot of sword energy except this situation. And this is, um, re regrettably, it's a situation in which, you know, this is, um, in the reverse position, five of swords, it indicates this is swift victory. In this case, this is a situation that you've really been hoping for and it's not playing out the way that you want. It's kind of like a defeat in a sense, but it's very swift defeat. You pick yourself up and you move on, okay? So like I said, the two cards are corroborating each other in which, you know, this is a five and a five. Five of cups, five of swords. Um, a lot of options that you've been, you know, riding, like... Um, riding high on or putting a lot of stock in are suddenly removed from your life you do have other options and you can proceed and now because those other options are gone they're not <clears throat> they weren't viable to begin with now they're out of your life so you have two options left and you can choose to proceed with it either way it's going to have a very good outcome okay so it's a, a defeat but it's in a way that's not crushing so you pick yourself up you just move on with your life which is a really good positive energy and I'm sensing that um, you might not really have a choice with the Sun in the reverse position so it's regrettable but um, towards the end of the month you're going to come to the closure of it and I guess the reality of it is going to hit you and you realize okay that was actually a, a favor to me because now I know how to proceed because before you were inundated by too many choices and too many options and you wanted all of those options you know but now it's like um, those options are being knocked down one by one you still have two left and you have to move on and I feel that you will so um, good outcome towards the end of the month okay the problem here is navigating through the rest of this month, and I would say, you know, um, in general, though, um, the energy is looking pretty good. I would only say that um, it's going to be a little bit of, um, it's going to really at force you to redefine what it is that you value, okay? The sun is all about success, it's all about happiness and completion as well. It's one of those situations in which it's like ego-boosting, in this situation when it's in the reverse position I know this is not an easy I'm probably downplaying it this is not an easy card to get you know like it's a card of regret it's a card of like um, losing things that you've invested a lot of uh, feelings into so it's like putting a lot of um, something a project a person a friendship or something in your life that is of significant emotional value you've invested a lot of time you want to see it pan out but it's not really panning out the way you want as a result it's kind of crushing to the ego it's kind of like crushing to your hopes and dreams and I say that in a really dramatic way when I don't think that is going to be that dramatic however I would say that um, it's going to force you to reassess what it is that really you value and what it is that is still, you know, left in your life and who it is that is still sticking around despite all of this chaos. All right. And I would say this is like um, the, the tower is not here. So I'm reading this as if it's like, uh, yes, it sucks, but we move on. Okay, so that, that's the, like the energy I'm getting because in the process of redefining, you know, what it is that you really want, the 
the direction of your life and how you want to proceed with the rest of your life. You do have the world. You do have like a lot at your disposal. You do have a lot of abundance, a lot of uh, new opportunities as well. Like the world is opening up as a result of getting rid of these bad things. Okay, so I would always say that, you know, uh, cups are always indicative of energy that is, um, that involves like emotional attachments as well. So these things are removed from your life for a good reason so that new opportunities can come in. And the new opportunities, I, I feel like three of these things have to be removed and extracted because they're blocking the flow of this one spectacular opportunity. That's the way I'm, I'm seeing it. So this is like one thing that is worth more than three things that you've lost in the past. You know, or this opportunity itself is so um, abundant that it's going to take the place of three things that you were here um, hanging on to for dear life because you didn't want to lose them. But, you know, this opportunity itself is like larger than life. That's what I'm, I'm sensing here. And it's going to come in. So you have to really... Um, it deals with expansion, but we also have to have like a home base in order to expand, okay? So you have to expand within a healthy framework is what I'm sensing. And with the sun here coming in in the middle of the month, I know that um, it's going to be hard for you to, you know, um, invert yourself and come to this place of, uh, of I guess, like uh, stability. F um, I guess like feeling normal again, feeling normal. So it's going to take some time, but then towards the end of the the month, I feel like this change will be very instrumental for you in redefining your life path and, you know, learning to expand within healthy boundaries, okay? So this is very good energy coming in for you. So um, please like, share, subscribe.